a Dello says, hmm, Chelsea wants to get married, but doesn't want to, but does she want to be married? AKA the wedding. Good, respectful chat, by the way, Rich. Thanks. So that's an interesting uh, statement. It looks like you want to be, sorry, you want to get married, but do you want to be married? Have you ever, um, I think you said you've been single for the last two or three years, was it? Yeah, like ta- last two years. You've had a long-term relationship? Um, the longest was two years. Yeah. Okay. So you're, what was it? 30 or 29? You're 31, right? You're 31. So what the, so what's stopping you, um, from keeping guys around like over a long-term basis? Like, what do you think is missing from the equation where it's not working out? Right. Cause otherwise you'd have been married by now. Right. For me, once around that, like one year mark, I very much know what I want, like whether I want to continue with that person or not. Um, but as I've gotten older too, my standards get higher and I cut people off earlier than I used to just because issues that come up in the beginning, they always end up being constant issues or growing later on. Yeah. Um, but also what I've found I like and need has changed as I've gotten older and the list gets longer of what I'm looking for. So what are the red flags? Because, I mean, like you said, you're very picky to some degree. So I I guess you've got some red flags for guys. I mean, I've got a red flag list for guys to vet women on that I get criticized for. So do you have like a red flag list that you've sort of compiled or thought of as you're dealing with guys and why they're not a good fit on a long-term basis? Yeah. Um, One thing that I've noticed is guys I've started talking to, they can be kind of aggressive right off the bat or trying to be controlling to some type of way. Can you give me an example? Um, like something that stands out? Something like if I ever have to travel for work, they have an issue with it. Um, How do they express the issue? It's just they start well, making comments of like, oh, you're going to find someone when you're gone or like something like that. Um, are, are you traveling with Steve from accounting and sharing a hotel room or no? No. You just... You just anxious about you traveling without being around yeah that turns you off so that's a red flag yeah i also don't like guys who are very clingy right off the bat so So not clingy off the bat but clingy later on yes as long as i can still do what i want to do on my own time i like having my space and some guys don't get that okay what do they what are they doing where you're getting the vibe that they don't get it? Um, like if I, some guys, they want to hang out like every single day and I'll just be tired. I have work. I have to wake up early Mm -hmm. and it's, I have to keep saying that and they don't get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, So what else you got on that red flag list? Um, one thing I've noticed is like with social media, like, Uh, If I start getting women that are watching my stories a lot and they're tied to this guy, I'll ask them about it Mm -hmm. because women don't usually, unless I know them, they don't usually watch my stuff or anything. And uh, it's always a lie to some degree. Like recently it was, oh, I don't even know this person, blah, blah, blah. And then he uh, unfollowed her or blocked her or something. And this girl lived where she's from. Well, he went back home and I happened across her page. He was following her again. And I'm like, okay, Mm -hmm. something's got going on there. Okay. So you think he's got something going on in the background with her or she's actually friends with benefits? You're suspicious. Yeah. Like girlfriend or something like that. Like I don't mess with any drama or games. So. Okay. So you, uh, okay. Um, And what are the red flags do you have? Um, someone who's very like, I'll say my piece with them. Like maybe I'm not feeling it like they are. Maybe I need some more time and they just keep pushing it. Like I already checked out at that point. Like that's not really a, like a disqualifier. Like they've already been disqualified. It's just now they're bugging you. Yeah. Like even if I was going to be patient with it, it's like they're, Yeah. No, no, but I mean, it, like, you know, when you know, right? Like there's this concept of genuine burning desire, which I talked about in the third chapter of my book. And I'm, again, the book's more so geared towards men, but it's like, 
if you have genuine burning desire for somebody, um, you're not going to be like, yeah, I need a little bit of time. I'm not sure. I got, like, like, you know, you know, right. It's like a frying pan to the forehead. Like this is the, yeah. this is it. Right. So that's more of an annoyance. They've already been disqualified. Do you have any other like major red flags that you're dealing with on a consistent basis? Um, I guess saying one thing and doing another, like they want to keep seeing you. Um, they want to see where it goes. They want mm -hmm. to get to know you. And then they never, they won't respond for days on end. Um, there's always excuses or they like say that this was going on. You have a conversation or whatever, and you don't hear from them for at least another week. It's just not adding up. Yeah. Okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here. That clips from, if you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.